So space is boring, right? I'm a huge space nerd. I love space. I've always I wanted to be an astronaut. I would love to be a space tourist. But NASA is making space so boring, so, so, so boring. I think you might have to go to the next slide. It might be jammed or something. But keep going. <laughs> hit, hit the button up, up there. <laughs> Just hit the arrow. There we go. Space is this boring. <laughs> so boring. Slides jammed. Hit a button. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is NASA TV. Anyone's watched it? Did you stay awake for more than five seconds? This is the most boring thing ever. Seriously. They are talking to people on a space station that's going 18,000 miles an hour. We have, a, we have a space station. We have a space shuttle. How cool are those names? Right now, they're talking about her and that she's sitting at her desk. I pulled this down from NASA TV this morning. This is today. <laughs> NASA's killing, killing, killing space. Why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. There are no human beings in space. There are robots in human bodies, okay? They're not allowed to talk like human beings, and they just, they don't tell us what space is like. These guys, these were people, right? They had wives, they had kids, they had, you know, lives. <laughs> they, they talked about space. They were fighter pilots. They were cool. Everybody wanted to be them. Everyone loved them. We knew who they were. Name two astronauts. Mike oh, good. Okay. We got six in space. We should have had six. Okay, so seriously, this is one of the coolest things a human being has ever seen, ever. And it gets described like, well, the space station is entering into It's boring. It's insanely boring. So the public, right? We got a crisis. The public's going, why the hell are we paying for this? Seriously, don't, we've got our own problems. Why are we funding this? Well, it's simple. NASA's not telling us what they're doing. They're telling us what they're doing in an incredibly technical, excuse me, incredibly technical sense, but they're not telling us what they're actually doing. And then we only pay attention when things go horribly wrong. This is one of the biggest things that ever happened in my life. This is Challenger. My mom picked me up from school. She was crying. I, that shouldn't be the biggest thing that happened in space. This, this is cool. This is awesome, right? But it's not NASA. This is private enterprise, right? This is cool. These are people, right? We know who these people are. We know who he is, at least. <laughs> we certainly know who he is, right? They're people. We know who these people are, right? These are, these are people that are going into space and, and talking to us and Twittering and blogging. And, and, you know, they're humans. We can interact with them. They can look at Earth from 250 miles up traveling 18,000 miles an hour and tell us what it looks like and put it in human terms, right? They can explain it to us in a way that touches us and grips us, right? So why does NASA sideline them? Why do they sideline space tours? Why do they say that, that, it's, that it's not important, that what they do is important? So what does NASA have to do? NASA has to convince us that they're worth it. They need to tell us why they need $19 billion, what they're going to do with it, and why it's important. There's people in that. That's our home. This is awesome, right? This is incredible. And seriously, this is the first time I saw this photo. I pulled this down this morning. I bet these people have names. <laughs> right? And I bet they have families, and I bet when they go into space, they feel things, right? And they could probably tell us what those things are, and they could tell us what being in space is. So this is going away, right? Constellation's canceled. So what the hell is our $19 billion going for, right? What are we going to do next? What are we doing? As far as they know, we're sending robots to Mars, which is awesome, but <laughs> we're sending people that are just faceless robots into, into a multi-billion dollar, $100 billion state space station. So what can we do, right? It's on us. I don't trust NASA. They're, they've got a corporate culture that's not going to start switching around and all of a sudden allowing astronauts to actually tell us what they feel. So we need to educate. We need to tell kids space is cool, all right? It's awesome. But not just tell them that. Show them. Tell them 
let them do cool things. That looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> I want to do that. That looks fun, right? The media. The media needs to start portraying astronauts are Olympic athletes. We know everything about our athletes, and we know nothing about our astronauts, right? We need, these guys are so awesome. <laughs> They're going into space, and there's only, I think, 400 of them. So why don't we know all about them? On a, on a, on a personal level, tweet if you can. Woo! Write stories, right? Blog. Make video games. Do TV shows. Do web series. Tell your sister that space is cool. That's one person. We win. But <laughs> I think it died. It's got one more. Anyway, so space is awesome, right? And NASA is not going to tell us that it's awesome. So we need to tell everyone else that it's awesome. And the only way that we can do that is by doing it in our own way, right? We each have one or two people we can tell that space is cool. We can explain it to them. We can put it in our own words and reach as many people as we can. Thank you. Thank you.